Sally Kumede is me, uh, my co-author uh, wouldn't make it today. Um, but yes, um, we're looking at uh, selected African South African universities. Um, well, it's, well, many reasonings why you end up doing the study you're doing uh, today. Um, and when also from coming here, uh, I've learned some way different things that uh, I would have never known before coming here, like community engagement practitioners, uh, those considerate, uh, and we, they are even, we don't even have those <laughs> in our institution. So we, our things are done really quite in a different way um, than what most of the people that here have seen. Um, in fact, um, yeah, uh, the community engagement is just, uh, in fact, um, neither of us in these presentations uh, will say practitioners. I'm an economist. Uh, I just do economics uh, my entire time. Um, and, and, and as an academic, we are requested to have community engagement in what we do is in our KPIs. Um, and then, yes, uh, it would be nice. It was, it was nice to do the study to try and figure out uh, how then those who are not practitioners <laughs> do it. Uh, so it's come from that, it's come from that point that uh, in the study we, we're mostly looking at those who are not practitioners, but you're supposed to do it because. We believe that it should be embedded in what we do as academics. Uh, there's that part that whether community engagement should be part of should should you have a should you have a, a separate section to say only these groups do community engagement or can it be part of our student learning part of our research? So we continue to do what really uplift the economies. I mean, there are a lot of things that uh, comes. Here here with the research and reading which I've read uh, to say obviously if you are not if you are not uh, teaching or researching what uplift our economies uh, what are we doing basically so you start asking those questions that who are the beneficiaries of whatever we do um, I just uh, as an economist I had one story that really pulled me in this research was to say that uh, if I look at the definition of inflation inflation and how it's been calculated and unemployment. I will say we, we teach students this that they take what they do, they survey 30,000 urban household. And, and from there, I say whatever we do in economics is not touching my Congo. Uh, and that's where I say we try now and see what, how we put social understand community engagement, where we put emphasis, emphasis on. So, vast nutritional community engagement uh, that we find. An academic space, but obviously we then it then put nicely into these three components: service learning, uh, community-based research, and organized outreach. Mainly, these are major activities that institutions are doing. I'll go quickly uh, to say, uh, for instance, I mean this is uh, I mean uh, for to try and expand on it. That's what we really how you see this uh, service learning. Uh, which really assisted associates teaching uh, our communities on what they really could do uh, in terms of them being a part of themselves or moving towards community based research usually goes with providing a service or product or creating new knowledge or skills transfer which uh, of which when I was speaking outside here uh, I was able to hear the roads uh, science when we be testing waters for the community that that's uh, that's exactly the as asking about the service or or, or, that's, or new product or new knowledge or the organized outreach. I think most institutions when I was doing my research, those who are who are not really having community engagement practitioners, when they think of engagement, they think mainly the organized outreach. So and 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 the other two are. are, are Pretty much not covered at all. Uh, and again, bothering uh, one of my previous presentation here about time, uh, which being a factor as well. So there are a number of of, of, of activities happening throughout the institutions. So I selected a few so that so that I don't really represent the entire entire work. And 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 and, and what 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 are what are really you will 
get in different institutions. It's really nicely organized differently. But um, the one thing that comes clear that it could be because of limits to we look we look at this with my core that's it. When we are analyzing everything, the research it because of limits to our master as well. Some of the activities may be collaboration with institutions. We could achieve more if we could do more of that. Uh, because what I find mainly in, in, in various institutions that the number of projects which really they're not necessarily be institutionalized and coordinated. And and when I, when you when you read at, at the literature, that one will be will will, will, will would not be happy by that was since he published his work uh, to say that there must be some form of institutionalized intentional community engagement and we're not seeing a lot of this uh, as well so but what we've done here i mean let's move straight to what we've done for, for, for this research uh, we we've done this in a focus group in a way so what if, uh, what we've done we, we've just uh, we've sent an invite to to we put it we put it into our my uh, LinkedIn and I put my code as well the LinkedIn to say this what the project we speak about we want people who, academics to come speak to us and uh, um, and then we we I mean we end up getting some participants but from LinkedIn well it didn't work uh, we ended up having to try and see whom we know from which institution say please send this link <laughs> try and let's come in here so it really not really that's why we we're not changing slightly to say select an institution because no longer a national representative sample as one day two so we end up getting seven participants from great institutions and they were all based in KZN so it's no longer the nationals work so now only in KZN what we find here so we made this uh, in a multiple teams uh, we, we record and transcribe uh, and then we, 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 teams is very good because it transcribed for us as well and then we just try and take points there in easy analysis uh, in, the, in, the, in the respect so so we had that and then we asked them various questions and then obviously they discussed and with each other as well and also we're listening as well we, we're doing we're doing most of the listening than talking this summer summer around so uh, we, we like that the most and obviously it, it does bring some awareness to them as well uh, which which we're saying okay I'll clean two pages on the stone so one we're learning but also they were getting aware but also themselves they're getting aware as well which which I think this was, was a brilliant idea um, okay, but these are the two main that's really arose from what we get there's the student learning and development which which we you know in our literature, we find a lot of this has been has always been researched, uh, and then obviously on the other hand, we then they start discussing the difficulties. Uh, and again, I think these difficulties, uh, when we look at them, would not be the same if if you are a practitioner, but uh, just if you are an academic expecting to do some engagement, but you do not really a practitioner in it. So uh, the questions are. I, I could make an example for instance. Well, if I say every academic at, at our association must do community engagement, so each year, each year when you're doing your KPIs, you have something we call performance management at association, but at our at your end. So each year you must produce everything that you've done community engagement, and it's current five percent of your entire extent of the year. So if you if it can't five percent, usually. Then academics will just do something and take a picture of one thing and one thing only and that's it. So probably they'll just go to a school and say this is you could say this is how we apply to see or and that's it. Uh, whatever happens afterwards, we'll see again next year, do something again or not again, as long as you tick the box, then you pass. So it's five percent. So we'll concentrate five percent of their time. We are concentrate ninety-five percent, which is mostly the teaching and research. Which then obviously, as you know, is an institution when I applied itself with research. Um, uh, okay, but um, uh, the interesting part of machine learning uh, and development is that one big thing was it's interesting how uh, educators' viewpoint is really not the same as students' viewpoint. So, so like we we say that it would be nice to hear from communities rather than hearing from us. Say so what we're doing is effective. Impactful, wanting to do more because we 
we do something about it to ourselves and 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 we hope to change without listening to people on the ground. And again, we we'll imagine the systematic way of reporting this as well. So because uh, they say our institutions are not really able to deal with other issues, traumas, how uh, people that recipients may have, have been going through. Uh, because I think it's a matter of you, you want to do that five percent and you move forward. So whatever it comes with the listening to the community and, and try and create something which really is working with them, really it's one thing that came as a, a really issue here. Okay, then uh, the difficulties uh, are crystallized. This I mean there are, there are lots of difficulties that they really have, have listed. Uh, but the two areas of concern that by myself and my colleague were concerned with was this one. The one is that then academics um, are not in a way of the policies. <laughs> and and uh, that's concerning that that means that uh, if you're speaking community engagement, you don't want to participate. Uh, but they're not in a way of their policies. Uh, and they think obviously there's a lack of that active commitment to improve community engagement. So uh, if I, I took, uh, I try to present this differently, but I say I, I'm, I kind of not present it this way. I wanted to really take and show the responses like inconsistency or non-existence implementation of community engagement is caused by lack of commitment. Investors engage with it, but they don't do well enough. One obstacle, in my opinion, is the university sector continue lack of change. So wait for it. Uh, another one says, what worries me the most is whether or not we will support this and give the time and attention it deserves. Okay. So these really uh, the thorough need for a change management. Uh, if you look at this. Because one thing we find that if you go to the website of all these institutions, uh, of all institutions in, in South Africa, the like, we started basically with it, uh, they really have very good objective uh, strategies about community engagement. And they the question that if, if the academics themselves, students, they don't really understand it, uh, then is it a matter of making our websites look good uh, without really the practicalities of it? Uh, I like the question that I've really heard from this conference to say what you're known for and what you're known with. And, 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 and really, if, 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 if that's the case to say, is this much more needed here? Um, and, and from years, well, I still do believe that it's not just to make an office of community engagement if we wanted to have it embedded in our in our teaching and our research as per CHE, as, as, as put it as a third pillar. To so say, one of the pillar, our pillars is teaching research, yes, but community engagement is also, must be something that we do at core uh, and, and, and be the part. I mean, so because we live in the communities, what are we without our communities? Okay. Uh, I saw the sign coming up. This is the last, last slide, I promise, and I'm not going to speak a lot on it because. Um, but there's um, really um, MNE uh, really is, is needed a lot to say we try and monitor this and document this as well. So, uh, and there's really a need to have an, an institutionalized institution, we must have an institutionalized mind, clear, measurable goals to try and obviously be able to quantify the impact so that you have this high impact community engagement. So if you have that and embed in our team in, 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 in the what they were in the academic project, uh, I think we'll do a lot. Uh, we'll be able to transform our economies with it. Uh, there's, there's much more potential. I think most of us also most of our participants they did say there's much more potential that our institutions could do uh, as well and these really should be driven by institutions. Um, but however our institutions, most of them here, uh, they, they, they are end, end focus is, 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 is it's quite, uh, quite, quite different. I mean, if there's no money with it, then you probably, uh, there's no much support. And, 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 and uh, community engagement is literally 
if you speak community engagement to the to, to people who are superiors, they they literally looking to say what the benefit, uh, what the benefit you have as an institution, rather than what the benefit the society society will be having. Uh, I thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you so much, um, <clears throat> Sanele, for such an insightful presentation around um, the community engagement tra um, trajectories in South African universities. And I know that you basically mentioned around the fact that you were only able to engage with um, colleagues within KwaZulu Natal. Yes, yes. So it wasn't necessarily a broader national um, perspective. And that was really interesting also specifically um, focusing on the 5% you mentioned. Now I also have a question of my own, but I would first like to open it up um, to our audience and then we'll take it from there. Yes. All right, Samuel. Thank you very much for that interesting talk. Um, my name is Ryan Masando uh, from Stellenbosch University. I just want to find out on the point Thank you for the presentation. I'm just curious here that the people who were to ask what's the definition of community engagement or how would you define it, uh, particularly <coughs> with the issue of the 5% and taking one quarter instead of done it, and next year taking one quarter. I know you're not necessarily referring to you, but you say this is what's happening. So my question would, would be what is community engagement? Aren't we supposed to allow those activities of one photo there, one photo there, continue to happen, but we call them what they are, voluntarily for outreach projects or, or non-curricular community engagement, something we we give the name and we don't spoil the work that we do in terms of community engagement, we let it be community engagement, but people still go ahead and do their photos. Yeah, yeah. So I just want us not to confuse the two, that's why I want to know what's community engagement. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for, for the presentation. I think um, what I've been hearing um, since yesterday, um, there's this emerging thing of institutionalizing the community engagement. Um, my word, maybe not so hard. Um, that in the constitution of South African universities, you know, also presents another challenges that I want to work in. So, but I just want you to, to ask you um, if that, that becomes a reality that we institutionalize the community engagement. So how do you think um, that situation we can be able to deal with a Goliath David situation that is already taking place within um, this institution? I will give you a, 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 an example. Um, you know, the, the issue of the transformational agenda. So we know that, um, you know, in the context of South African University, that alone it, it, it presented, you know, a Goliath and David kind of situation as far as the community is concerned and the knowledge of um, 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 the community is concerned, especially in research. So, how do we avoid that situation when it's institutionalized? Something that I'm kind of like totally against. Thank you, thank you. Uh, thanks for uh, spending so many times so on trying to fast. I'm already fast about this scheme. Right, uh, um, I think I'll try and take the two questions. One, how much is enough and what is it? Uh, the community engagement, okay, we started with um, well, the first person. Uh, so, if you if, 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 if really are cool, you, you give me a community engagement 5% and 95% of something else, is, uh, it's something, the question is, is it something an extra that you do or something that you deliberately do community engagement with it. So mostly, then it, 
it, it doesn't take me out of it being an extra work to say, okay, I've done the tower work, oh, it's time for me to report. Let me just go and try and have something that I do. So let the part, that's the, let the, let the part that maybe we need to emphasize and try, I don't know. Uh, but again, also the issue of whether really you should put a percentage to say on, on, the, on the key performance indicators, uh, also another issue altogether that really, I know it's not enough answer, more discussions needed. Uh, let me just try, try to make my time here. <laughs> See, there's a second one. What is it? Community engagement. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, the question is: Have you engaged the community when you just go and um, say you've done what you've done, take pictures, and then you're done? And then the question is: Every person needs to ask themselves: Are you sure that you've engaged the community, or you've just done this to just take pictures? There's one, one big question. Obviously, there are many definitions here. I'll go back to the to to the literature, but. But that one big question. But then, obviously, as you're mentioning, we mentioning, we may have that say that we continue to have this, but we don't, we don't have it community engagement because we have not come engaged in community and, and have community engagement. And we should not count that community engagement if they are not have done. And then, so can maybe those thinking debates around that motivate. Uh, I just don't. Uh, you allow me to get to the last one. Yeah. Um, Visualizing it. How are you working with the agenda part of it? Uh, the transmission agenda part of it. Uh, yes, it's good that there's debate about it. It's good if you're bringing a different aspect of it. Very good. Uh, the biggest challenge here is uh, you don't know what you're doing. Uh, where, where you, if you have not nationalized anything, you, it's by chance. Whether it's a pain or didn't happen, and the measurement of impact, whether it's really high impact or something that really has happened now by chance, will not happen like, again later on. That also the last story if you say not internalizing it. So yes, more debate on, on, on the outcomes of it and needed and obviously how to then deal with the colleges of this world. Yeah. It really need, it needs a lot of obviously debates and discussion say okay, internalizing, but the problem is the colleges. So we internalize it, but still we do it colleges. So uh, more research and more development on the front really really needed to clarify it. But I'm there to raise it. Uh, I'll put in my definition of this paper as well. Thanks.